So this will be our light scale. This will be our dark scale. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Multiple Dimensions, Part 6 Scenes. In today's episode, we've covered a multitude of things. We wanted to um, validate that we could work with our open broadcast system used to create scenes, and we did that. We wanted to continue working with the four scales, and explore shadow combinations and extended chords. We wanted to compose something by ear. What actually happened is that we verified that we can add an image source background. And we'll show you here, if you remember when we did the try scene, try stream, um, you see there's all these things here. In fact, we'll just hide this for a minute. When we showed it to you, it there's this black vertical rectangle on the right. These are where these blue highlights are. If, if we had something streaming, those would be filling in just like this is. So we verified, we just put an image source in there and then we'll still show a full, uh, full wide screen. So that was good to verify. Then, then we enumerated all of our scale combinations that we could work with. And that was somewhere over, somewhere over here. Um, their ideas, and we ended up adding them all up, uh, two scales at a time, three, here it is, four scales at a time, two scales at a time, three scales at a time. And what we discovered is when you added up all the notes, we ended up with a, 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 about six, one, two, three, four, five, six unique scales. And we decided that adding these two scales would be a good place to start because Basically, it gave us a four note bright scale. In other words, four notes left out that aren't being used up by combining these two scales. So we did that. And then, and then we went ahead and made a shadow scale template for that, where um, our so called light scale is C45454 because it has a higher consonance. Here's the higher consonance. And then our so-called dark scale is going to be the C3663. And it's dark, quote unquote, because it has a slightly lower consonance. And then we went through, and here's the key point. What are the shadow scales? And the shadow full scales, when you add all of them together, which gives you eight. And the shadow bright scale is up here. We should probably use our little colors to emphasize this again. What we mean by a bright scale is uh, like that. There's our bright scale and there's our shadow scale. And then we kind of differentiate between the shadow common, which is where these two scales have notes in common, which are C, A, B flat, B, as you can see down here. So that's shadow common. And then the shadow uncommon is, is basically their modes. They do not have the same modes. So we have this interesting situation where we have a four note bright scale, a four note shadow common scale, and a four note shadow uncommon scale. So that looks promising. That looks promising to work with. So we will continue to work with that next time. And just to kind of, again, close on something musical, we'll play our light scale here. And notice these are the, the notes that are different are, are the modes. Everything else is the same. Whereas up here, it goes like this. And then the rest of the scale is the same. So we'll see what we can make with that. Thank you for your time and attention. We look forward to seeing you in our next stream. Do come back, do check in, take care. See you soon.